what is going on everybody welcome back mtg here with another episode if you're new to the channel hi there this is the 15 inch m2 macbook air i have right here the 13 inch m2 macbook air in midnight as you can probably maybe see from the fingerprints it's a fingerprint magnet but today we're going to unbox this and we're gonna take a look at it, share with you guys my first impressions. I went ahead and picked up Starlight. I'm not going with a fingerprint magnet uh, computing device. I wanted to try out a different color. So here it is in Starlight. This is the base model. Uh, just keep that in mind while you're watching this video. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Okay, so first things first is MacBook Air right here on the top. You don't really get the screen anymore of the computing device on the top of the box. Apple logo right here, right behind you have the MacBook Air. And then again, you have the Apple logo. Let's flip it and let's pull these tabs just like that. Two large tabs, there we go. Flip it over, eight gigs of unified memory, 256 gigs of SSD. Let's, there we go. Always satisfying. Oh wow, this looks really nice. Pulling it out, surprisingly it feels really light. Makes sense, it's the MacBook Air. Let's put that aside here for now. We do have a braided MagSafe 2 Type-C cable and this is actually color-coded too. So if you do pick up the Midnight, you're gonna get a Midnight braided cable. I like that, good job Apple. Uh, we get some more made in California right here. Um, just put that aside and then we have right here. I believe this is a 70 watt USB-C power Adapter, so I went ahead and picked this up you I believe you can pick up the dual USB-C But that's gonna be 35 watts each, but I want the fastest charging. I don't need dual USB-C Anyway, let's put these back in the box because well I'm not gonna need them at least right now Let's take a look at M2 MacBook Air so here we go. It's, actually, I think you can just slide it out, but let's just listen. Wow. Wow, I like this color. That is a clean MacBook Air 15 inch. Just for a size comparison. Oh, wow. Just for a size comparison, just Look at that, 13.6 inch and then a 15 inch. So it's definitely larger. This is, I like how Marquez Brownlee, he referred this to the Tesla Model Y of Apple's computers. And this is the Tesla Model 3. And it, you've probably noticed on the roads, there's a lot more Tesla Model Ys. Uh, I have certainly, and I guess right now it's the most sold vehicle on the planet right now. It has surpassed Toyota, which is surprising. But nonetheless, I like this starlight color. It's like a very subtle cream. It's not a really dark gold. Let's go ahead, open it up. Turns on right away. It turns on right away. So there's that. Trackpad is much larger. I can definitely tell you that. Trackpad is much larger. There's no speakers on the side, which does feel weird if you're coming from like a MacBook Pro, especially a 16 inch. Uh, but there's six sets of speakers instead of four. That's one of the differences between the 13 inch and the 15 inch. Let's put that aside and bring the 13 inch right here. And I'm actually going to go just like that. So you can see the entire setup right here. So there it is, hello and it's much larger, still has that notch with no face ID. Pretty much the same setup as the 13 inch MacBook Air, just larger scale. Eight gigs of RAM or eight gigs of unified memory, 256 gigs of SSD. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up and I'll be with you guys very shortly. All right, so here we go. I set it up just the initial setup. I'm going to move everything over from my M2 MacBook Air to the 15 inch M2 MacBook Air. Overall, this is my first time using a laptop of this size and I, I, I'm really happy with Apple because I, I've always wanted a larger MacBook, but I didn't really think Pro was for me because with the current workflow I have, I don't need Pro. M2 
and a 13 inch is evident because of that. Uh, just suffices my needs, gets the work done for me until I start doing more heavy intensive tasks and improve my workflow. I think M2 is perfect, but now I have a larger side, larger screen right here with the 15 inch. It's definitely going to have better battery life. Uh, same base model. I don't need any more base model, eight gigs of unified memory, 256 gigs of SSD. For me, it gets the job done. But now when I'm on the go, I can rely on a larger screen to just get a little bit more work done, be, be a little bit more productive. And honestly, at $12.99, and with you go, if you go with an education discount, $11.99, this is a very good starting uh, 15 inch for many students, in fact. Many people, including students, college students who are looking for a 15 inch. Now, uh, at the time of this recording, I have not put up my 13 inch MacBook Air one year later uh, video, but I do recommend this 13 inch for college students. But if you're looking for a 15 inch, we now have an option. We now have a 13 inch, 14 inch, 15 inch, and 16 inch options from Apple. Good job, Apple, you now give us the option if you want a bigger screen, you don't need to go pro. So good job, seriously, I like it. I like the larger trackpad. Even uh, typing on this does have about the same size keyboard, but for some reason it just feels easier to use. Now I'm gonna have to get used to the sides right here because there's no speaker grill on each side and it just kind of looks weird. Uh, six sets of speakers, everything else is really the same 500 nits of brightness. Uh, the notch, I've already gotten used to with the 13 inch, this is no different. Uh, and it looks like this color is not going to attract as much fingerprints, which is a plus. So if you're gonna go for a non-fingerprint magnet MacBook Air, I think Starlight, this kind of cream color is the one to go with. And it actually uh, goes with my gold iPhone that I'm currently recording with right now. But nonetheless, very happy initial impressions. Good job, Apple. Uh, I will be putting up lots of content on this. Make sure to comment down below what specific types of content you'd like to see. What do you? What else do you want me to talk about with this 15 inch MacBook Air? And I'll try my best to bring out that content for you. Got a lot of things going on right now, juggling three, four, five things all at once. So it's gonna take some time, but I also wanna uh, really thoroughly use this for my workflow. Uh, just finishing up college right now. And hopefully I can get all those types of contents you guys want to see out to you. But that's really been it. Uh, if you wanna see any more things, like I said, leave it down in the comments below. If you did enjoy, be sure to superman the like button, comment down below and best of all share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more people. That's been it for me. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Yeah, next episode. Wow, this this feels big.